if you have this uh, Kenmore RO Ultra Filter 300 and or 500 series and you hear a constant um, water flow towards the drain line um, so you know either your check ball assembly or the automatic shutoff assembly uh, is worn out or it might be plugged or restricted so you have to uh, just check both of the things and make sure it's not restricted or none of the parts needs replaced so it's pretty simple on this uh, model um, this one is a Kenmore 300 ultra filter 300 series but 500 is the same way um, so what you have to do to access the automatic shutoff assembly is unscrew these four bolts um, and take this thing out Again, it's going to be kind of a little stuck if you're doing it uh, for the first time. Uh, so you might have to pry it out. So once you pry this unit out, that comes out, there will be a little O-ring. See that stuck in there. Uh, so get that O-ring out. And then put it back into this thing. And then you'll have a little spring. So this is the check ball or check valve assembly and this is the plunger or diaphragm which is automatic shut off valve assembly and this goes hand, hand in hand, they work together. So in the check ball uh, assembly, check ball assembly, all you have a spring and a little ball in there. Uh, can you focus? Uh, it's like a little um, black ball in there. To get that out, uh, if you turn the unit upside down and won't come out so what you have to do is uh, push the spring a little into it so that it grasp on the ball and then when you get the spring out it pulls the ball out there you go so that's how you get the ball out uh, make sure nothing is stuck in there in that little tiny hole not sure if you can see that but I'm just gonna blow a little air in there okay and the so that thing is good I don't see any um, dirt particle in there for the automatic shut off assembly uh, so this is again I only took it out so that's why for me it's coming out pretty simple uh, for you you might have to uh, you know squeeze in a little bit the diaphragm to get it out again don't use any sharpen tool um, so move you use your hand or fingers to move it out and this is how you're gonna pull the diaphragm out so this diaphragm looks all good um, it's made out of neoprene uh, uh, material so this one is all good this is not worn out this is functioning as good now this is the um, spacer ring and there's a plunger in there um, so again for you it'll be super snug tight uh, you might have a hard time getting that one out. You can use a little pry tool. Uh, so let's just get the the plunger out first. Okay, you might have to turn upside down. Okay, so there you go. So I got the plunger out and also got the spacer out. When I first started pulling it out, it was not coming out. So I had to use a little um, screwdriver. Uh, there's a little groove in there so I was just pushed it in and tried to rotate it so that it got moved and then I was able to get it out so yeah just rotate it a little bit and then it gets loose otherwise it will kind of stuck with all the uh, you know kind of a water seal in there uh, but yeah once you get that on out then there would be another so we got the spacer uh, we got the plunger which sits like that that came out and then there is another diaphragm uh, so again use your finger to push it and this is the another diaphragm so once you get that out inspect that one as well so for it, this unit uh, this the inner diaphragm was the culprit as you can see it is completely worn out the 
shutoff assembly was not working right and it was continuously uh, draining the water and we could hear the sound uh, so any which is uh, Kenmore if you go to shears parts direct Kenmore and look for Kenmore parts uh, but I can I will post the part all the part numbers into the description but they sell this parts individually uh, again the shipping and the parts would not be cheap uh, like if you just have to get the two diaphragms because I have to replace these one uh, they were like but shipping it was 30 bucks uh, similarly they sell this uh, plunger units they sell the spacer ring uh, they sell this uh, shut off valve assembly uh, individually so you, uh, depending on what is what has gone gone bad in your case you can order the part uh, but before I put it together, so I'm not going to put it together today because I just ordered this part. So I'm going to wait for the staff from to get it shipped and then I'll put it together. But before you put back everything together, just make sure, uh, you know, blow some air uh, and make sure there's no dust stuck in it. So I'm just going to blow air into each of the holes uh, and just get any dirt stuck dust particle out if it is there uh, but yeah uh, that's it that's how you're gonna uh, disassemble it disassemble it uh, figure out if what is worn out and what is causing the issue if it is just restricted or plugged in your case then you can just put it back together if any parts is worn out go ahead and order it from uh, Shears Direct or eBay and you should be good to go uh, Give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and share it and post any comments or feedback um, and we'll look forward for the next video. Thank you.